Welcome to Nursat Satellite Station and Telemir TV. Let's start with the headlines. His Majesty King Abdullah II, Christianity is an integral part of the past of our Arab region and the Holy Land. Patriarchs and heads of churches in Jerusalem stressed the importance of the King's speech at the United Nations. Patriarch Theophilus, attacks on Al-Aqsa Mosque are no less serious than the attacks on the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. We also have the Projects Committee of the Knights of the Holy Sepulchre visits the work sites it supports in the Holy Land. Welcome back. Within the framework of his weekly Christian teachings and as he habitually does every week, His Holiness Pope Francis welcomed the believers coming from all over the world to the Vatican, where His Holiness contemplated and said, Most Holy Father, the English-speaking pilgrims and visitors wish to express to you their sentiments of deep respect and esteem and to assure you of their prayers for your ministry as the successor of St. Peter. At the end of the audience, we will sing together the Our Father in Latin. His Holiness will then impart his apostolic blessing, which he extends in a particular way to the members of your families at home. He also intends to bless any religious articles you may have brought for this purpose. And in a special way, his blessing goes to your children, the elderly, and those who are sick. The following is a summary of the Holy Father's catechesis at the beginning of the audience. Dear brothers and sisters, in our continuing catechesis on discernment, the process of making sound decisions about the God-given meaning and direction of our lives, we now consider the importance of prayer. Praying is never a purely intellectual exercise. It also engages the heart and the emotions. Through prayer, we deepen our friendship with the Lord. We grow in trust as we realize that in coming to understand and embrace His holy will, we find our true happiness. One of the great temptations in the spiritual life is the fear that fidelity to God's will can make us sad or unfulfilled. Prayer helps us to overcome such empty fears and brings instead a deep spiritual joy, even in the midst of trials and tribulations. As the fruit of prayer, discernment makes us sensitive to God's kindly light illuminating our minds and warming our hearts. Drawing each day closer to the Lord, we come by a certain co-naturality to recognize more fully His will for our lives and in that will to find our peace and our authentic fulfillment. In his last speech at the United Nations General Assembly, His Majesty King Abdullah II affirmed his commitment to defending the rights, authentic heritage, and historical identity of Christians in Jerusalem. His Majesty indicated that Christianity in the Holy City is in danger, and the rights of churches in the Holy City are also threatened. The situation cannot continue, since Christianity is an integral part of the past and present of our Arab region and the Holy Land and it must remain an essential part of our future. His Majesty the King made it clear that the future of the city of Jerusalem is a source of urgent concern, and that undermining the existing legal and historical status in it causes tension at the international level. It deepens religious divisions, as there is no place for hatred and division in the Holy City. Your Excellencies, as I stand here today, elections to Jordan's national parliament are coming to a conclusion. It is one more step on our country's positive evolutionary path, a path to which we have insistently conformed despite regional turbulence and a massive refugee burden. It represents an achievement that is largely credited to our citizens, especially our youth, young people who have stubbornly held onto Jordan's heritage of unity, strength, and forward-looking spirit, in spite of the odds. And it is this very odds that make these elections 
a true triumph of progress over regression. For his part, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas said before the General Assembly of the United Nations that Israel attack Islamic and Christian holy sites every single day, especially in Jerusalem, stressing before the world the adherence of Palestinian people to the Hashemite constituentship over the holy sites in the holy city. On a related level, the patriarchs and heads of churches in Jerusalem issued a statement expressing their deep gratitude and appreciation to His Majesty King Abdullah II, the custodian of Christian and Islamic holy sites in the Holy Land, for his true and honest description of the situation of Christians in the Holy Land, especially in Jerusalem, during his highly appreciated speech. The United Nations General Assembly also saluted His Majesty the King's public commitment to protecting the historical and legal status quo and his efforts to sound warning bells about the deteriorating conditions of basic Christian human rights and the dangers related to the Christian heritage and presence in Jerusalem and the rest of the Holy Land. At the conclusion of their statement, they called on the international community and all peace-loving people in the world to take the warning of His Majesty the King, who addressed them in his speech at the United Nations with the utmost seriousness and act accordingly. In the same context, his betitude Patriarch Theophilus III, Patriarch of Jerusalem and all the works of Palestine and Jordan, said that the attacks on Al-Aqsa Mosque for Christians are no less dangerous than the attacks on the Church of the Resurrection and that any change of the status in Al-Haram al-Sharif threatens the status in the Church of the Resurrection, adding that what is happening at the same time is a blatant aggression against religious rights and it is imperative for all honorable Muslims and Christians to unite in rejecting and defeating it. His sovereignty affirmed that freedom of worship is guaranteed in all international laws and that the practice of extremist groups with regard to Islamic and Christian holy sites are a clear violation of our natural right to exercise freedom of worship. Under the patronage of Mr. George Abu Khadr, the Orthodox Club in Abdun Amman celebrated the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross in the presence of a number of priests, officials and diplomatic figures and a large group of believers. After Father Athanasius Qaqish recited the inaugural supplication, the club's president, Ilya Wakile, delivered a speech in which he expressed his happiness at the simultaneousness of this celebration with the 70th anniversary of the founding of the club. Then Father Christophorus Haddad gave a greeting speech on behalf of His Eminence Archbishop Christophorus Atallah, reminding everyone of the importance of the cross, which was a token of God's love for man. Mr. George Abu Khadr also gave a speech in which he thanked the club for choosing to sponsor the celebration. Then the choir of St. George of Karak and the choir of Orthodox Words enriched the ceremony with a wonderful painting of Byzantine harms related to the blessed occasion. And at the conclusion of the ceremony, the priest blessed the fruits of the pomegranate and lighting the flame of fire, asking God to preserve and bless everyone. Archmandrite Christophorus Haddad, the spiritual head of Sultan Fahis, sponsored the celebration held by the YMCA on Airport Road in Amman on the occasion of the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross. The ceremony, which was attended by a group of priests and deacons, the president of the association, Omar Zarro, members of the administrative and public body, and a crowd of believers from different parishes, included an evening of hymns presented by the choir of the Dormition of the Virgin Mary in Mafraq and the blessing of the pomegranate fruits. And then a fire was set in the assembly yard to the sound of the performances of the group of scouts and guides of the Church of St. Nicholas in Marka. The service was held in the Arab Evangelical Episcopal Church of the Redeemer in Jabal Amman, the creation prayer service under the slogan, Listen to the Voice of Creation. The service was supervised by Reverend Fayyak Haddad and Reverend George Kupti, and a number of heads of representatives of local churches in the kingdom participated in the celebration in the presence of a crowd of believers and personalities concerned with environmental affairs. During the prayer service attended by Deputy Majdil Yaqub, the heads of the churches called for peace and a handshake among themselves in response to the call of creation, which has become threatened by wars and environmental degradation. The Projects Committee of the Knights of the Holy Sepulchre made an inspection visit to the work sites it supports in the Holy Land, where the visit started from Bethlehem University to Smekiye Parish in the south of the kingdom. During the visit, the committee was able to obtain a clear vision of the projects of the Latin Patriarchate in Jordan and Palestine. The committee was impressed by all recent achievements in developing facilities and implementing many projects despite the difficult circumstances the world witnessed due to the corona pandemic. The committee noted the enthusiasm of priests, teachers and students, the youth and administrators towards their mission in the church. 
in addition to catering for the poor during the pandemic and its aftermath through various humanitarian programs and refugee care. The committee has expressed its willingness to provide more support and funding for pastoral and humanitarian projects and other programs in the Holy Land. Dear, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. His Majesty King Abdullah II, Christianity is an integral part of the past of our Arab region and the Holy Land. Patriarchs and heads of churches in Jerusalem stress the importance of the King's speech at the United Nations. Patriarch Theophilus attacks on Al-Aqsa Mosque are no less serious than the attacks of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. The Project's Committee of the Knights of the Holy Sepulchre visits the work sites it supports in the Holy Land. For more information, please visit our website www.nursatjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.